a lot of tricky things happening in this. I think this one is also suffering from the same highlight problem on the left side. When I, when I look at this, we could say, yeah, look, man, there's, there's definitely a highlight here. Against all this shadow, it stands out as a highlight. But what, what we have to make sure we're doing and not doing is that even though it's a highlight, it's not a really bright highlight. It's, it's much darker than that. Because you can like take a value from here and go even just like a slightly brighter and it'll still look bright against it, even brighter from there. But if you go too far, it's too much contrast. So as we look here, I think that's what happened here, right? And so just uh, be very careful to limit those value groups as to what they should be. And I think the brightest that this should be is like a five. So we can kind of take something that's about halfway, maybe a little bit warmer. Uh, make a new layer, set that to darken, and just fill in this whole spot. And then now it looks a little bit closer to the reference. Even the highlight, uh, although I, I know you're stylizing it here, but that's uh, something I would look out for if you want to be more accurate. The nose is really well done. I, I love the, the layering of this, how you handle the Thanks. nostril. Yeah, that's a tricky thing to pull off, but you did it. Now, for the for the facial hair, and this, it's quite challenging because it's almost sculpted. So what I would say is you have uh, these big clumps and clusters. What, what I would challenge you to do is try to find out exactly what the, the geometry is of these and then map out one by one specifically how these brush strokes will layer. So you have like the dark layer and then the, the highlights and all that stuff so that when you go to do it over here, it's all planned. Um, and what that might look like is you'd have, let me see, uh, it's mostly uh, this value. And then you have a shape like this, shape like that. That's not the right color. And so I'm kind of carving it, seeing that there's going to be geometry here. And so it's, it's it's difficult because it's organic and not like easy to do a wireframe on. But uh, even with hair, like treat it like it's a sculpt, uh, like a sculpted thing. I'm not too accurate here, but um, the idea is there. It's a bit of gray here. Right. And so when you zoom out, the brushwork kind of just looks uh, more layered as opposed to segmented like this, right? So be uh, wary of that. Mm -hmm. And same thing with the mustache. It's getting a little bit bright right here. Let's tone that down a bit. That's a red, red warmth in there. Yeah, cool. And one last thing is that this, the cheekbone highlight is a, is a really defining highlight for portraits, drawing heads and faces and blah, blah, blah. So this cheekbone highlight here is very distinct. You have a, you have a value group of dark here that's just dark enough so that it looks like a separated line and then it fades out over there. And it's pretty sharp here too. So when I go to this, that line is almost there, but it's starting to disappear. So I would say grab this, Squint over over there, and then make sure that that highlight is standing out against a dark value. Well, darker value. And then you end up with something like that. It's not perfect, but be very careful with those kinds of highlights. Yeah, cool. Any questions on this one? Nope. Just uh, wrote down some of the things you said. Nice. Okay. And let me just take a peek at this again. Uh, how did you feel about this process with the uh, zoomed out, simplified speed thumbnails? Mm. I, for me personally, it was a bit more difficult than um, this. just the study I did before. Mm. Because I had real problems to make it look like... or. The, uh, or kind of look like it, uh, like the reference. Hmm. Let me grab it, see if I could pull it off. Okay, yeah, so how would I do that? Let me 
Yeah, I would just um, do a brush stroke like this. And maybe introduce a highlight coming down this way. Add some red in between for the eyes. Chin. Maybe some gray for the hair. Let's put that background back in. And zoom in a little bit and then start refining. And then it'll just kind of come together. I haven't done this one yet before. Right, but I, I guess the point is to distill things down and layer them in such a way that it's easy to, um, I guess, I guess mold it to, to make it look the way you, you want it to. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, since I have like really dark eyes or like dark circles in my eyes, I always like tend to make this really, really dark, darker than it should be. When I'm drawing people like that, and then you can kind of edit stuff, and it's pretty fun, honestly. So I'm gonna do this real quick, and then take a look at yours again to see what the differences could have been. more of a yellow here so we're just gonna put that in like that yeah not perfect but it gets the idea across so let's take that all right so i think what i'd want to see uh, let me just fix that real quick is a stronger simplification of shapes so i think you have a pretty good breakdown so you have like a, a, a base layer of color and then the shadow and then the highlight. And so you're working with this to create form and volume. I think that's working. Um, but in terms of craftsmanship and I guess accuracy, I would avoid letting the brush strokes do this kind of curving. It's like kind of ambiguous. I don't want to say sloppy, but rather it doesn't look like it was done with intent. So what you could do instead is as you're doing that, just make one stroke that's confident in terms of direction. Don't let it curve unless it needs to and just let it be sort of, I guess cleaner, maybe cleaner is the word I'm looking for. And then you have something like this. And that's sort of where I was starting to get to over here on mine. And another thing to look for is that when you're looking at as something as you know detailed as the eye, you know, when, when we look at it, it's like we can break it down. You have the eyelid, you have the, the pupil and the two, the whites of the eyes over here.